Welcome to this presentation in which we will highlight how ESCO point solutions all come together with WebCenter to create a powerful solution for life sciences. Here we can see RDOS CAD die lines being produced, KPAC rendering palletization, Studio providing graphics, and finally Store Visualizer to place the SKUs in their final retail environment. For this demonstration, we'll use a fictitious Get Well brand. Let's start by creating a new project in WebCenter, ESCO's cloud-based collaborative digital tool for you to manage the process of creating and updating artwork and labels. Here, we can see a new product development being kicked off. After filling out all the required project information, we can create this new project. We select the three individual components required for this, a carton, a label, and a leaflet. All these digital assets will be managed within this project. After confirming this request, WebCenter continues the process and creates three subprojects for each component. Let's have a closer look at the creation of the briefing and bill of materials for this carton. Here we can see that the structural designer has created the appropriate die line for this folding carton. We can view this data in 2D as well as 3D. Ardios CAD Enterprise is the software that allows the structural designer to create 2D and 3D structural packaging and label designs, resize them to fit products, and create internal fitments. Once done, all these assets can be uploaded in the WebCenter project using the WebCenter connector. Similarly, the 3D design agency can now download this cutter and start creating artwork around this. Here, we are using the ESCO Studio Toolkit to design and view labels and artwork in 3D, allowing for visualization of content before physical production. Once these assets are uploaded, an approval process can start. Here we can see a two-stage approval process with different stakeholders being invited. Using the WebCenter viewer, we can see the assets, inspect, measure, and ultimately provide annotations to approve or reject these assets. This WebCenter viewer is available on any platform as long as you have access to a browser and the internet. Notice how one of the stakeholders is asking to change the font. Once these changes are made and uploaded again, we have the opportunity to compare them in that same viewer. Here we can see the label that was generated. Notice that a change happened 
between version 1 and version 2. This looks like an address change. Once all stakeholders agree on these changes, new versions are uploaded and finally approved. WebCenter can greatly reduce errors by using this view and compare tool. Here we can see the leaflet that was designed in InDesign. Now that we have all three components, we can start using our palletization software, KPAC, a powerful software to determine pharmaceutical product size, case count, case size, and load to reduce cost and carbon footprint size. Notice here I am generating a shipper and the software will calculate the most efficient pallet size. All this data can be uploaded again into my WebCenter project. Here is a quick view of this report. Once I have created my shipper, I can also visualize the pallet and additional graphic information can be added again using our studio tools. All these tools working together to create a powerful solution for pharmaceutical products. Here we can see virtual retail environments created in Store Visualizer, including a pharmacy, where we can place our final products for evaluation. Find out more at www.esco.com/brands. Thanks for watching.